Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Mermaid Swamp. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Yeah. I commented on how weird and like how much those things stood out. They probably do so on purpose. I gotta open my inventory and use the item. It's just a key? Got to chi. All right. What the hell? I wasn't scared. I was just confused. <laughs> just like, boo, I'm an old man. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is open now as well. Piece of paper stuck between a futon and the wall. Ah, I'm old. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do y'all think it's a little on the nose that um? Okay, I'll get to you in a second. Do y'all think it's a little on the nose that? Those are the sound of splashing or dripping water. A giant fish tank. Human-sized. A diary. Most of the pages are torn out, but there's something written at the end. Everything ended on that day. I must repent. I will go there no longer. I locked it away with that sorrowful year and month as the key. Okay, so the, the day that something bad happened... It'll probably be like something like 0980 or something like that. Because he said he built this new house in the 80s. Yeah, he built this new house in the 80s, right? And the month and year, or year and month are the key. So 80 and then the month, or like 82 or something. Another drowning girl. Paperback books, shelves, and human-sized fish tanks for floating a girl. Okay, so I guess we'll need to come back with a candle or a lighter or something to melt that. I don't know where the hell What's-His-Face is gone. I really should have learned the people's names better considering that um, there are only five characters. Got something to ask? Found this in the retro Japanese room. Can you read it? That's the same as the monument by the swamps. Man did abzonic, yada yada yada. Uh, fools, homes, yada yada yada. We mourn her at the end. Does this game have multiple endings? I just realized I don't actually know. would be a good thing to know, most likely. Large refrigerator, three burner gas. I've never seen a three burner stove. I only ever see four. And they're always arranged like two by two. Um, hmm. I can't believe that this game's idea of a jump scare is just an old man's green eyes. We painted this old man green. Boo! <laughs> oh, oh, can we... Okay. Um, I guess we'll need more firewood then. Uh -huh. Okay. What could I possibly be missing, though? 
And again. Up this time, Alfie. There we go. Oh yeah, I, I haven't mentioned this yet, but this is apparently the remade version of this game. Was that other guy's name Ray? I'm literally just trying to remember what his name was. Alright. In the interest of... Actually, let's... See if you've got anything else. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, maybe I can do this now. The clock. It was this one, right? Sure was. Hmm. All right. Shoe shelf. I am going to open a walkthrough. All right, I think I just missed the trigger for something. Gonna go talk to Sadero again. Hmm, strange. Maybe I go check on Yuka? Ugh, so fucking gross of a sound. This is surprisingly well lit considering that the power is supposed to be out. Alright, let's take a look at this walkthrough again. Oh, I've just realized that there's a Yuka and Yuta. That might be why I'm confused. Let's... Hmm. Can you tell me about the other note? Hmm. Because I'm seeing a thing on here that I don't think I've gotten. All right. Yuta, I talked to all of him. Guide says to read the book in the library. I think I did that. Pretty sure I did. Yuppers. To the library and to the, to the right in the hallway. Hmm. Yeah, I'm like completely lost.
because I'm even looking on the wiki, and I think I've I think I've done this in a weird way. Paperbacks, shelves. Strange. I don't think I've been in the bathroom in a little bit. Weird. Range. All right, this is something completely from the guide. Apparently, Rin is supposed to mention something about these big eyeballs looking like this note, I think. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Huh. Room with the two fish tanks. What's this? In the wrong room? Because this room has three. wonder if I need to walk through of a different yeah there's only the walkthrough for just the main game uh, hey while running around clicking on random things uh, this shelf is different for some reason these shelves seem super wobbly I wonder if I can move them oh oh I don't like that at all piece of paper Documentation. Bunch of gobbledygook I can't read. Maybe Sadero could. Kind of odd that the character wouldn't read it herself. In, in a game making sense, that you would get the item and then bring it to someone else who can read it. Found these on the wall, but I can't read them. How about you? This paper's old. Must have been written in the in the eighties. Let's see here. Thereupon, my grandfather's return from China, he bequeathed to me a mythology to prevent the propagation of germs, wrote herein for future generations. The method is as follows. Well, the writing's too faded to read much, but prevent the propagation of germs. It's about making disinfectant? Why the hell would that be here? I don't know. But preservatives are important for storing food because they didn't used to have refrigerators. So, should I check the fridge? Bizarre. Hmm. See, one of the things about RPG horror games like this is that it is very, very delicate balance to make it a good enough mystery, but also make it, like, not really annoying. Because, like, there's some RPG games where, like, 
they make it in such a way that it's frustrating because like you keep getting like instantly killed by certain monsters or like there just aren't enough save points or you miss a save point because they're not obviously demarcated. This is still the same thing, right? I feel a little more... Okay, I've opened the pot. Japanese room, check the closet. I've gotten the piece of paper from here. Like, have I done these things out of order? I feel like I have. Futons. Wind up key. Need a candle or a lighter for that. So this is possibly the girl because it's pink and Chie is a more feminine name. I'm going to ask him about the old mansion because it seems like that's the trigger to leave. Hmm. They're really wanting you to wait for the old mansion, huh? Small sink. You know another thing about American uh, characters in a horror movie? Not afraid to have their ha uh, their shoes on in the house. <laughs> that, like, there's literally a joke in ghost stories about where somebody stops to ask a character why they still have their shoes on in the house in the middle of fighting some ghosts and the guy's like this is no time for cultural translation differences and then following is one of the best jokes in all of ghost stories um that's a good episode of ghost stories now that I'm thinking about it but like I would really love to see like a Japanese horror movie that is at least partially a comedy and, like, I would love to see, like, in the middle of a chase scene, like, the the person being chased stops, daintily removes their shoes, and puts them in the little shoe cabinet. And then, like, as the monster's chasing after them, he also stops and takes the exact same amount of time to remove his shoes and put them in the cabinet. And so, like, they don't lose any time, you know? It, it's not like the monster's able to catch up, because, like, he has to take the same amount of time to remove his shoes. Oh, goals. Right. Okay, didn't ask about... What the... Oh my god, there's so much. I missed all of these. Damn. Hmm. See, because I'm, I'm looking right, I'm literally have the wiki open. Read the diary, check the pot, go to the 1F kitchen, check the cupboard for chopsticks. Use the chopsticks to pull a key out of the pot. Go to the Japanese room and check the closet. A jump scare will pop up. I've done all of this. And it could be that, um... I've done it out of order, and so I fucked up the uh, the ordering of things. But like, man, what a what a weird thing to have happened. So what happens if I go back here? I have no idea where I am. Is the answer? Should be a jump scare somewhere around here. If 
for those who haven't been following my channel for a very long time, there was a very, very fun and good part in, um... In Cry of Fear, where, uh... I kept missing the trigger for a jump scare. And so I kept, like, loading my save to try to get scared in the right way again. Okay. And then... It's literally just an old man <laughs> with a... With a... <laughs> All right. Year and month. But yeah, the one piece of paper that I do have appears to be a puzzle that I haven't, like, unlocked completely yet. Okay. Prevent germs. Check a Rooney. I hate when I load a save and I'm not like completely sure of where I am. So after leaving the room, Sedaro, so Sedaro can read it for you. After leaving the room, Sedaro will talk to you in the hallway. So he's not moving to the hallway for some reason. Presumably this would be the hallway, right? All right, I found a different thing. I've realized that the room with two fish tanks is probably this one. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five. Also, I've realized that um, the old man in question mentioned that he had two daughters as well. I realize that Shio is a girl's name, in fact, so maybe this is just, I don't know. Also, a secret between the worlds was kind of obvious, considering that these have the two halves of the world painting. All right, what am I looking for here? Certain room, large eyeballs. Go to the room with the two fish tanks, starting for the left fish tank. 
a left fish tank. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Everyone, I am stupid and I have wasted your time. This is the fucking room with two fish tanks that they meant. <laughs> I never went in here, I guess. I assume that this door somehow led to this, even though this is a room with one side. And I realized, wait, there is only one door in that room. And I never went in here. Big ol' eyes. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one. Five, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. You can hear that I'm literally machine gunning all these fucking. Wait, can we talk about how this is just a JPEG of a fish they pulled from Wikipedia? Right, so I'm in the right room. I know that. Starting in front of this fish tank. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Bro. All right, by running around and hammering the use button, I finally found it. News clipping. Oh, I got to read it, huh? An article from... August 17, 1972. Dyslexia's a bitch, everyone. Yesterday morning. <laughs> okay. Psycho Kawamoto, age 29, and her children, Chie and Shio, both age seven, were found dead in an irrigation channel in the city. Eyewitnesses claim that Psycho jumped into the channel to save the drowning Chie and Shio, only to drown with them. What a loser, right? Hey, Rin, come here for a second. Oh, all right, we found it. We're back on tack. What up? You found a map? Nope, no good. I'm going to go look for places besides the city. Take these. Lantern and... Nice. All right. Why, should, why do you have a freaking lantern? Also, why should I care? Dummy, think about it. The power is out. It's going to be night soon. Whether we keep searching for a map or need a break, we'll need light. There's one for Utah, so give it to him. All right. Go at it. Hey, cool. Is Utah back in his room? I guess I'll go see if he wants this. I'll do that later. But hey, um... Apparently, uh, I am not the only person to have frustration or consternation in some form with Mermaid Swamp, and that it is known for being a little confusing for no reason. Uh, but that is one of the worst ones, so I feel good about passing it, even though I didn't need a walkthrough, because, Jesus. But hey, um, that's another episode of Mermaid Swamp. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. I'm Alfred. Uh, happy Halloween, everyone, and have a good day.